Hello everyone, may the fourth be with you, purple burglar alarm and all that algorithm pleasing nonsense. I've got another video for you today, this is Evil Weasel vs Granuli. Uh, best of three here on, it's going to start out on flats and both are playing Rebel Alliance in this sort of mirror matchup here. And to kick things off there's a couple of nerfs and, well, one, uh, maybe just the one lure or so. But there's quite a few nerfs for people to grab up, so probably about eight or so, so they're going to have the nursery. Mounty tech will be uh, on the horizon if people want to do that, and this should actually be kind of a good mounty map because this Toronto and these nerfs are not enough to sort of see you all the way to T2 and to get some troops out. So you're probably going to have to invest in some farms there, and the more you have to put carbon into your economy early on, the stronger a mounty rush will be. Because just with these nerfs and the Ronto, and they might be, you could eat one or two of the nerfs later on. You could keep the worker production going and keep the mounty production early, and then use that to pull ahead of your opponent. And we're going to speed up just because we normally have to, because T1 is so boring because the amount of times we've covered it and we see it, and not really much goes on there. You can watch this majestic Ronto be lured all the way to Evil Weasel's command center, and that will be our highlights of tech level 1 probably unless someone whips out the mounties. Look at it go. Look at that swagger. Deary me, that is a dangerous... Wait, this is an Age of Empires, okay? Calm down. That's a that's a dangerous move. You, won't, you wouldn't catch me doing that ever. The amount of times I've accidentally done that myself to the actual Ronto and killed it off. And if you kill it with a military unit, you don't get any food out of it. If you don't know in like Age of Empires 2, they do that board trick where you like two volleys from six workers in the town center. It's enough to get the board very low, and then they finish it off with the on garrison. But uh, look, fast game speed, GBG engine, don't, don't don't trust it. Don't be whipping out those maneuvers. It'll end in tears eventually. Prefab shell dropping. So a much quicker carbon processor here for Weasel. Uh, Weasel probably the, the favoured player here, Greenly at this point being the uh, the sort of rookie bracket. Weasel somewhere in between sort of low inter and inter. He's just not had a lot of games lately. But I remember him being quite good, but in certain aspects it may be not quite in there, but we'll see how this turns out. Not happy with that farm that he's placed. Bleed it midway. So not gonna be any mounties here for Weasel. Gonna be dropping the uh, the farms now. And I think about how long Granuli's taken to get into carbon. I mean, he's definitely wouldn't be the player. It looks like he's sort of oversaturated with his workers. See how fast that Ronto's going out now. And he's gonna need carbon for farms. And another aspect here, I guess, that we could say that would make a mounty rush a little bit weaker is that they're both rebels and rebels get the sort of farmer bonus. So it mean you would get a lot more bang for your buck out of the farms here. As you can see, Weasel going to need to drop food processors a little bit behind in his transition to farms. And so it's going to be a kind of a long T1 here as the boys get the farms down and get the food going. See, Weasel's got that bit of a surplus. So I think if you were rushing here, you could probably maybe go up to like eight farms or so, maybe a little bit less. It's it's hard finding that balance, right? Because you need so much food to tech up, but then you don't need quite as much food to maintain your worker production and get the troopers. And finding that sweet spot, you know, could result in you in a much quicker rush. Because just sometimes the amount of farms you would need to generate enough food wouldn't be too much that you would want in T2. Your economy wouldn't feel too balanced. Gonna take a little bit of a while. So you can get the power core right now. I wonder time the power core and you can maybe start the troop center, but the T2 is coming soon, I think. It's a decent because you gotta remember they got the nurse ticking away as well. So Granuli is gonna get a lot more farms here, but he's kinda got to catch up a bit. Oh what the hell? Why what have I witnessed? Yeah, it's very rare I witness the uh, infamous scout sniping of a farm. So it's like before the farm started being built, it's on like one health and the scout can kill it. Some BM shit right there. So second trip center, Mountain's going out here. He's 
Is he maybe slower? No, he has managed to get up to T2. He's just much further ahead in the way that he's divided out his workers early on, and getting the early carbon. That's what's really important in this game, is that early carbon pays off dividends. The mount are going to get in here. Very well executed rush. He's set up very well. He's got a second carbon processor. And because he's putting on the aggression, he won't need to worry about getting turrets anytime soon. So he can try and put Granuli to the sword right now. Well, he doesn't have a power court. Unfortunately, Granuli's really built his troop center far away from his carbon and from his command center. And guaranteeing this position is going to be difficult for him with these two mounties. I mean, these two troopers on their way now. Weasel just getting further and further ahead at home, I think. If he's maybe gotten some of his research. Let me take a quick look and see what he sort of prioritizes. Maybe yeah, did get his carbon. Not got the farms just yet, but the carbon's pretty good. I forgot to check the nursery. I wish we could make it that we could uh, select the buildings in here, speed things up. Not got the uh, the stimulants upgrade. The worker does go down there. And this poor lad's been walled in on power core repair duty. Uh, Trooper recruiter taking a one for one trade there. Was pretty good going. But these mounties are still at large harassing the workers here. And thankfully we do have basic training and all that. There's no like glaring errors like that. And uh, this might be going to go down to the command center here. Uh, Granuli is somewhat stable but he's going to need a second uh, a troop center. His base feels very open and accessible right now. He does going to build this turret right now, which really does feel needed. And Weasel's feeling quite comfortable at home now and just ready to sort of spam out troopers and stuff. You can see he's expanded his uh, his farm count. He's going to feel very confident, like getting all his upgrades and everything. This looks like he's just got stimulants there. That's the one for the nursery. And he's ready to just run around here and put in as much pressure as possible. Granuli does not look very confident in defending this and you know putting down a Nova processor which makes me maybe think he's thinking about like turtling up to T3 but he, he's gonna need a second troop center just to have enough troops because when you face someone that does actually understand how to do damage with the troops when they start walking through your farms and just one tapping them there's like there's not really much you can do there it's gonna take you too long to turtle into that from this point in the game you're gonna need that trooper count to guarantee your own base and there being only one turret you can stand on top of here and there's not enough troops at the moment for Granuli to take that trade. He's going to get the second turret just to free up this position. That way they can guarantee one another if troops try to stand on top of them. He's going to come into the farms now and this guy has got too far to run to the command centre. He's gunned down. Poor Astro Droid. And Weasel can just keep going round and funneling more troops over trying to find angles to do more and more damage to his opponent while he slowly gets further and further ahead at home. As his farms are not under duress, he's not having to garrison his workers, he's not losing all that mining time. You can see the farms going down every time these go down, that's 50 carbon down the drain, and then the build time, etc. Feels bad, man. And this is not very efficient carbon either, so we're really, really in a hard place here. Working towards the tech level 3 buildings for Weasel here. Not really making any mistakes, just making sure that he's always getting more ahead here. Except for this worker, this poor guy. Get in there, there you go. Inefficient level. Oh, come on, it's an epidemic. Slacking droids. And he really got a bit of a higher troop count here. But then he's looking to put, take a trade, and when he does take a trade, then he's just going to have less and less troops. Second troop center does kind of feel needed. Weasel's got way more food than he needs, he can take up. Currently has banked up a lot of food. 40. Am I seeing things right? Well, Currently's done a very good job keeping his worker count up, I must say. Quick look. See, there's a huge gulf in the resources. There's been a lot more troops made for a weasel, as you can see with a second control group. I worry about them just coming in here and sniping some workers. The worker count is even, but there's like 
2.5k res lead for Weasel, just with everything that's going on. And this is worrisome. He wins that trade as well. Eight workers are still going down. Like, really, he's on his way to T3. Weasel's almost T3. He's definitely ahead there. I think he could just sort of win in T3 here. He does like to go for quite a few air bases, and I think a double air base play here would really, um, with only being one troop center as well, I really get like the anti air troopers out so quickly. You could definitely pin his opponent here. Throwing away a lot of the troopers, so doesn't necessarily need to really upgrade the troopers. He could get a range though, he's got tons of food. Wouldn't be a bad shout. Be a good differential if he wants to take down strike mechs that really wants to use to defend. Really should be hitting T T three soon. Just a little bit to go. I've got the one air base here. Maybe I've deleted this one, built a new carbon process to get the second air base. Becomes a bit of a pain. Try to find spots around your power core. T three onwards. And Greenly hits T three, so to be honest, Greenly probably wants to just double air base as well. The big troops on top of you because you know they can't look up, but they can sort of challenge a strike mark. And you're gonna have to micro it and stuff, and there's a lot of stuff he needs to do to sort things out. Like, he needs to get these workers uh, being efficient. Fortunately for him, Weasel doesn't seem to want to like surge forward and shoot with the strike mark. It's building up his air at home, but <laughs> strike mark's getting caught. That's very good luck for Cornelia here. At least he's going in a triple air base that we've seen quite a few times from him in the last couple of days. So all his games have sort of been posted around the same time, so they're all coming at about the same time. Um, we see second command center. I'm going up here for Weasel. I think Granuli's definitely going to need a second CC. Um, typically when I watch Granuli, he doesn't quite get it that quickly. He's definitely spending all his money. Not much left. A lot of Nova though. Could maybe buy some stuff. I don't think it would really be a miss to just buy some carbon and some ore and get that CC. Because not only is it about just making the workers, but it's also protecting your existing ones as well. And he's probably gonna have a lot of ore or a lot of ore, a lot of air coming his way. Some turrets would definitely be essential for him. Now, he does get his units in here, you should see these three air bases. And that should really be Weasel's cue to go and raid him as well, but it seems like he wants to go and use these defensively. It'd be better to just accept the losses he's getting right now, throw out a mech destroyer, and go and raid his opponent with the air while he's unprepared. Because these are just tickling the strike mechs. The mech destroyers out there, they, they, these don't really add any DPS, just go raid. Laziest mech destroyer. So Greenly's getting a couple of kills here and there, and causing some idols and stuff. I think what's really great about this though is that it's just buying him time because his opponent isn't uh, coming over to hit him with the air. But he's so much Nova, and the spaceport is your friend. Just just use it. Get some defenses. Get a CC. Get some turrets. Better to do that and just be down a bit of Nova and keep yourself in the game rather than just outright die. Which could really be the case. You've done a lot of anti air troopers, and if you're going to make this much anti air troopers, you should get the upgrade for them. But as Brat likes to say, and I do agree with him, they do look more aesthetically pleasing when they've just got the one rocket launcher. The two rocket launchers is just a bit weird. Nobody's got the shoulders for that. <coughs> it's a lot of workers going down here at the Nova. And you know, quite a few of these probably will be uh, a bit bruised from everything that went on in T2 too. <sighs> We're gonna need to really see another command center though. Let's get some turrets up. Feeling safe with that. And I think Weasel's plan, you see he's getting a lot of farms down, a couple of CCs, he's got a lot of workers on Nova, so maybe just looking for that tech level four. Yeah, that, that food can start 
ramping up soon. So it just builds on a few extras. It's feeling quite safe. He's only doing a little bit of light walling. But it just feels he's sort of hanging on. He's doing a good job of it, but he's not really getting himself into the game though. You know, I don't really feel like he's got any opportunities to do anything but exist. A CC here. And one here, I think. Stray mech, I think this guy's just scouting. Let's see what his opponent's up to. Weasel's got a ton of ore. Could definitely get a fortress down. The fortress wouldn't be too bad. Just on the other side of this cliff just now. Maybe deny that Nova. Can really try to get his command center up, but anti air too late to respond, and the buildings are going to muck them up as well. And just so many workers going down there. It's looking really difficult for Granuli here. Yeah. Fortress. I think Weasel could be a bit braver with just how much map control he's got. Could set himself up to actually transition out of the air later. Like, a def like an offensive fortress, the nice some area. He can get cannons out in his T4 as well. He could use this cliff to keep them safe. And then just follow up the troopers. So I would probably grab up this center part of the map here. So two Novas, you know, up for grabs there. Just like the most obvious sort of route to the bases. Not that I think there'll really be anything after T4, but you know, like in future. You should always play like there is going to be. Because that's just there. Uh, that's good play. And uh, Tana Tana Air, a speeder will keep him safe if he really tries to raid, does have some strike mechs and stuff, but there's not much hope for him I don't think. Weasel banked up a lot, a lot of money here. That'll be him T4. So shields, armour, fast fighter. Really slamming down a fortress. Another CC. I like this fortress if you farm around it and stuff, it's good. Maybe could be a little bit further out here. Waiting for the shields here. You could probably just fly out with the fast fighters and do tons of damage with them. Don't necessarily need to wait for shields. There's so many fighters. Let's put him out of his misery. Get on with the game too. Right, shields are here. Let's go, champ. Fly across. Murder the R2-D2s, the blue ones, red versus blue. Waiting for the advanced fighter as well. Harsh. So in they come. Many dead. Air is air. Blood is blood. Yeah, and the air trooper is not very good against that. Or it's not very good against it either, but what the fort is good for is just having the garrison space. Really, 
Okay, still hanging on. It's like he knows I'm gonna be watching. And suffering. Just wanna get into the next one. There's the GG, thank god. I'm moving on. It's not even properly finished, I'm already loading the next one. Let me out. Precipice. Big river. And many fishes. What's the food situation? It's Gungans. Be a cool one if it went late. Whip out the old cruiser. Full lump, some nerfs. Just the extra one full lump. Stunning outskirts. You can get that with the scout, I guess, if you could be arsed. It's not too bad. Uh, some shorefish. Oh, that's nice. Grab those, maybe. Oh, there's extra foot. What the hell? Where are these? Oh, they're there. Oh, there's a G-Pack. Oh, that's a decent lure, though. I thought things were more bleak. Oh, I hate this when the Nova's just ruining your carbon. Ruining the arc there. So, Granuli keeping his market production going, just munching on one of those nerfs. Just trying about finish that as his Jubat gets there, that's great. When in doubt, eat a nerf. Uh, Weasel going for the quick wall, it would seem. Got a ton of nerfs here, though. What's happening? So he's up to nine, and there's like just five nerfs here. This weasel is six. Are these just all extras? Weird the way that they're sort of laid out here. Should probably want to get these, yeah. I think we not see the other ones. Yeah, there too as well. He's trying to stop them sort of walling off, but yeah, it would be better to have your scout on the, the enemy side. Don't get walled out. A weasel could have actually seized that opportunity to keep his scout out, I guess. Where is it? Oh, he's not actually got his scout on the other side, though. Hmm. Not the best. What if he, he could get bamboozled like this? Like if you got um heavy mounted, you should try a T three. I could see Grunley being quite well set up for this. Like if he he sort of sniffs this out, he's got his scout on his side and could go through the wall. We'll see how it plays out. Eternal, Eternal T1. But yeah, I think the lesson to engage from this is just you should always have your scout on your opponent's side so you can see what's happening. That way you can feel a lot more confident with what you're doing. A cheeky food processor for the, uh, the shore fish, I like it. He's going to have a very good feed, food eco with these extra nerfs. A couple of caddies for dinner for Weasel here. Currently he's got an awful lot of workers on carbon. And the farm's going down now for Weasel. I like to do, do like a transport rush as well. I'm gonna put a shipyard down. I'd like to see him rush here. Like just ferry mounties across or something. I think he could catch his opponent off guard for that. He's off the T2, as is Weasel, that's all looking a bit even. Weasel up in food a bit, but Grunley's had a lot more workers on carbon. And he's not spent the carbon on the farms. He does have those extra nerfs sticking away here. Bring in some food. And he has these shore fish as well, just keep things going. Power for it, and he looks like he's just gonna fish. 
Not a bad call. There's a, a lot of fish in the river. Just barely in range. He's just going for a T3 that. Fairly even looking. Just put a carbon with different things. But remember, Granuli does have five extra maps. That's without finding these two. They're still sitting there. One building going down. Does look like Weasel's ahead. He's probably on his way to T3 soon. I know man. I've got a bit of spaceport magic. Off to T3. Granuli just a bit behind because he needs a second building. Maybe he needed to cut boats for a minute or two. Building some prefabs as well. I have to walk all the way over there to get the uh, the building down. So, going to be a good window for Weasel, I think, when he hits T3 to just spam some air onto uh, Granuli here. So I'm a little bit worried for Granuli. He's going to have like the, the extra eco with the nerfs that he's got and these boats and stuff. But he might lose quite a few workers and find himself pinned down as such. This temple's gonna grab up. He does, but he's built Padawan. I can see him there. So that'll slow down things a little bit in terms of like getting your your air base and that. So maybe this will buy Granuli a little bit of time here. See, just one air base getting slammed down. Really going around to the ore. Built a cheeky little frigate here. And a transport ship. I like it. Maybe gonna rally some strikes to him. Transport them across. Uh, the second airbase being built, but it's quite slow this. So it's giving Granuli time to get to T3. When what could have happened is these go down very quickly. Three fighters go out, then a bomber, and it's all looking horrible. And Granuli particularly would have suffered here, not having a troop centre to make up for a sort of um, slow tech time to funnel out some anti-air troopers. So the power core could very much have gone down. And he's going to double turret. Bit of Russian blunt gameplay here, just slamming down the turrets. And then a command centre. Not quite got the uh, the triple turret though. And he comes to raid, and there they go, turrets there. Uh, it's not even bad for him because he's got these extra workers and the shipyards and that. Feels quite comfy. And he can just focus on what he's doing here. Got the second CC, and building up these strike mechs. So they're about even, really. The air is just not going to do too much unless he goes for the boats. The boats would be a really good spot for him to harass, get some value out of. Uh, looks like he's grabbing up his second holochrome here. Take a while to get some good value out of them being Gungans, you don't get any like bonus to the hollows. Not sure how long they take to uh, give you a return on investment. Here, garrisoning. Here we go. So, strikes make it across the river. And we can confirm that there was a need for a transport here. Very good. And off they go. Now, this should be very annoying for Weasel because he's not really set up to defend this. He's not built a mech destroyer or anything like that. And he'd much rather be putting his carbon to other uses. But he did look like he was starting to think about mechs in general because he's getting a war center here. 
I think you could make like a bomber or two. Just to chase. Yeah, he's making a bomber. That would be really because there's nowhere for these to like run away to, like back to the base. And make destroyer out. So this just kind of just being annoying. It's it's forced a response. It's forced to make destroyer. Forced a bomber and stuff. Getting chased with Padawan as well. But you shouldn't get too hung up on this because there's not really much damage to be done with it. He's gonna kill the Padawan, which is pretty annoying. Means there won't be any uh, ferrying across and grabbing up the holocrons from his side. But well, these mechs do just take a horrible bomber shot there, I think. Five command centers. So I think we nearly might pull the head there. Off his aggression. Forty-eight. Fifty-four. So we're nearly maintaining that worker lead. Well, until now, he's being raided with the uh, the boats. But the boats there. His trawlers uh, going down, but he has pretty much eaten most of the fish in this sort of area. And he is building farms now as well, so it's not he's not going to feel it too much. A couple of mech destroyers being built. Maybe some anti-air mobiles out of this heavy weapons factory. Confirmed. And he might look to break through here and ramp up the pressure onto his opponent. Having three command centers to get her some workers and that. Pump them out, you should be feeling quite confident. If he needs a new uh, carbon processor here. He just said thank you. Oh. You find those two nerfs. Strike mechs for Weasel. He's not really gotten his upgrades since buying this war center. Not sure what the war center was for. Not really getting used. Oh, there we go. Getting an upgrade now. Did make a transport. Not for uh, Holocrons though, because there's no more Panda ones coming. But he is going to try and counter now. His own strike mechs, but uh, a lot of units here for Granuli to defend with. But I'm not sure how the strikes are really going to do much. To be honest, I'm wondering if he's even going to want to drop them at all after seeing like five mech destroyers in his base. He's been a bit reluctant to get his uh, third CC, but he's going to go for his third and fourth CC at the same time. And he is going to make that trip across the river and drop these strike mechs off. Only got the uh, the plus one range, plus one attack though. Let's see if we really plans to use his mech destroyers so that are still just sitting at the spawn point of the mech factory. Off they go, all six of them, single file. Can assign one mech destroyer per strike mech. And then have an extra one. So it should be a fairly easy uh, hold. Let's see if Grunelli going to get through this wall. And I think the way that Gungan v Gungan should really be playing out is uh, you should be making use of the goddamn Fambas. They are so strong, they have so much armour. T3 units struggle so hard against them. They make for great pushes. Good early T3 harassment with those. Even repeater troopers are pretty good in this matchup as well. It's particularly if you stick them under these fambas. Because you'll double the you'll double their health. Though you don't get any like health upgrades, you still got like 90 health or so, and then you can make use of your extra range and have that bombard army going. It's kind of a cheap effect to push as well. While you uh, shore up the rest of your eco, then you can go into like artillery or whatever. Or bring some cannons or something like that. But 1v1 is a very good place for the uh, the Famba Shield generator to show its strength. A lot of its weaknesses tend to be more in the team games, you know, them getting converted and stuff like that. 
There won't be any masters running about here. And there won't be the need to spend all your ore on like advanced turrets either. So you can put your ore towards those uh, those fambas. And we're still finding time to be annoying with these strike mechs running around the base and such. Um, it's done quite good in keeping uh, Granuli from the wall and planning any sort of invasion to his land. It looks like Weasel wants to drop some workers across, maybe? Just using his air to do a bit of scouting here. And try and sneak this transport across. Uh, he does hit T4. Look at that, Granuli, who... We got Nova for it, but he's lacking in the food department. Maybe not built enough farms. Looks like he's building on some extras now. With his opponent being T4 as well, he's probably thinking, oh crap, I should be T4. Weasel going to sneak around here into this open sort of plane and maybe build a bit of a forward here. Commence his invasion of Granuli lands. These fighters just being annoying. And to the A mobiles. There they are. They were on patrol, but it looks like they're coming across to get rid of these guys. And this distraction, just keeping an eye on Granuli for Weasel here as he slams down these heavy weapons factories. So this is like another six endies, yeah. Looks like Granuli's just got loads of units and he just went through the wall and killed his opponent. Or at least forced him to build loads of stuff at home. Off to T4. Troop centers, some heavy weapons factories, no units out as of yet. I think we're only going to be having more of a MD focused approach here. Oh, he's going to drop some heavy weapons factories. So maybe MDs and artillery. Just a lot of HP for that army. A bulky army. Expensive though. You can only upgrades for those. Do you like the troop centers, troopers? See if we're gonna go mounties or repeater troopers. I think it'd be repeater troopers because they do synergize the best with artillery. Make sure no mounties get on top of them. Amazing the strength of this wall though. Nobody wants to touch it. It's only like 2.4k hit points. So basically about the same as a heavy weapons factory. Yeah, can have your units here just shooting at it. We really should maybe do a better job just keeping an eye on his own territory, make sure things like this aren't happening. And you definitely want to grab up these hollows at this point in the game now. Especially when you're settling into a long 1v1 here, you could use that differential. And this being a match that we're going to be spending a lot of Nova on like artillery and stuff, that Nova would come in handy. Because this won't last forever. So a uh, grand Gungan army is assembled here and the artillery are going to give it away right now. As they start shooting at the houses. And Granuli's going to be forced to marshal all of his forces together. He's got that heavy mech destroyer upgrade. These guys here not quite got all their um, upgrades yet, but they got that nine range. So they're absolutely slaughtering these workers here. And to be honest, it looks like Granuli's just sort of caught unawares here. He's got so many units that he needs to just grab all of them together. 
put up a bit of a defence, but it looks like he's quite outclassed with just the amount of units here and the type of units too, that heavy artillery doing so much damage. Mech Destroyer is not really the best counter for it. Quite a lot of micro to take this army down, which is Mech Destroyers. And the buildings are not going to make that very easy. They're forcing the units to bunch up in positions. And they're going to make the artillery much more effective. And shield generator does go up and that's going to start doubling the health. You can see it climatizing there. And forced to call it GG there. I'm assuming this is a best of three with this call GG there, but I do have three games, so maybe it's a best of five. I'm not too sure. I guess it's a best of five. Maybe it's like a semi final thing or something. I'm not paying enough attention to that. I'm just grabbing the recorded games. But take it, taking that there's a third game, I'm assuming it is a, a best of five here. So 2-0, oh, we're going into this one, Naboo Mirror, Savannah, a lot of food and stuff, the fish, the crab up here, a few lures as well, not really enough nerf to get a nursery, not bad rush distance, kind of easy walling. And though Weasel's got pawns and stuff, it doesn't feel that easy to wall. Not as it could be if there was like a couple of tree clusters in the way. A little bit wide. At least he could sort of wall to the CC though. Close this up here. Or up here. Some light walls around the side. And you have both here no but very safe though. Nice for this matchup. These will be missing a little bit here. Two Jewbacks, two Flumps, but it's going to be on the, uh, the old berries. Granuli, on the other hand, very much on the hunt. Let's go get an Arsha here. Two nerf nursery. It's not too bad if he doesn't tend to mount you. It certainly doesn't need the nerfs just now. A very, very slow T1. Let's speed up a bit. on the hunt. Get the flump and I'll lure that over here. Got the slowest shot of carbon here for Granuli if he's gonna mount you. Quite a few workers on food. Interested to see what he gets up to. Because, uh, Two nerf nursery. Oh no, there's a nerf here. He's gonna find it, hopefully he doesn't wall it out. Oh, just in time. Just in time. You know, I think if he mount these here, he's actually in a decent spot. Oh, he's just done the same thing. He's gonna mount me. Notice I'm getting nursery. Whoa! It's nearly out of there. So I think Weasel's mount is going to come a bit quicker. And I think Granuli's going to get a food processor now as well. A fair bit of carbon. He wants these. Oh, he wants these. That's cool. You know. You might not see that if you mount them. They might be uh, completely unharassed. But he's gonna, he needs to keep an eye on his opponent. He should see this. He needs to get a troop center down quickly. Near the command center. 
you can kind of trick your opponent and make them think that when you run these workers away that that's like your food and stuff. It would be really nice to have these just munching away on Falumps and Fambas and you know, they might just don't know about it. An Aura Processor, no Troop Centers. He's going to get a Nova Processor as well, he's playing a bit blasé here. Or what he should have scouted. It's not like he doesn't have a carbon either. You know, if you take this 200 carbon, you add it to that 300, he's got more than enough. He can at least repair his workers, being mechanical. Doing a good job of that, but like, what's he stalling for? Like, double turret maybe? Try to keep them as alive as long as possible. One does go down. Not really seeing much more mounties out of um, Weasel. So I could double turret here and it wouldn't be atrocious, I suppose. But you can't just make one turret. If you're going to make one turret, you've got to make it like here. So the command center can fire at it. I'm not surprised that Weasel wants to run away from that position. I mean, he could just melee down the turret. Cornelia is getting this food up here, which is nice. Cheeky differential. Weasel just hit T2 as well. I want to run these workers away though. What are they doing? I'm pretty sure they all shot that fan. Or that lump. They're all idle. Ah, troop center. For two mounties. She just T3. Got the turret. Got about spaceport, mech factory. Or temple. Or center. Doesn't really matter. Just get the T3. She's got all this extra food coming your way. As you can see there's not been any more like units added in. Just over committing a little bit here, but try to build a second turret up here as well. I think it would be great is if the power core is just in range of this troop this uh, turret. You know, try and like link the things together and get good synergy out of them. If you've built a turret and there's mounties, build the power core in range of the turret. If you try and make a play for your power core, it's safe. There's plenty of space around this area as well. And you can slide in the buildings to sort of wall in your carbon a bit. But I think Weasel's just uh, completely safe here. He's actually hit T3, is he? He's snuck in a T3 just recently, I think. Gonna be grabbing up some holocrons. Not really decided what to do. So he's maybe thinking about the Jedi here. He'll grab up the hollows, bring them home, and then by about then he might have the uh, knight upgrade and quite a few knights to throw at his opponent here. Still doesn't know about these secret uh, hunters over here. Grabbing up the food. He might find them though if he goes for the holocron. Which I think this boy's on his way to do. Yeah. I don't know if it's maybe when he was looking at this hollow he seen like the dead Famba. Maybe these guys are just scouting for hollows though. I think maybe that's the case. Secret farms now as well. So CC quite I think there's maybe like three or four Padawans now. Really, on the other hand, it's on his way to T3. Don't worry about this power core, right? Could be in range of both these turrets at the very least. And to deal with uh, a night rush, you're gonna need like a fortress. So their fortress are like troopers and strike mechs plus damage. And in a matchup like this, you kind of just need to slam down a fortress as soon as you see it happen. 
or you'll never have like the DPS to bring them down. So Jedi Knight on the way. Weasel does see this, he should see this farm. He's still scouting for holocrons. Guy's not gonna want to make it. She might just do decent damage to Jedi. Ugh. I am yours to come Drops it and finishes them all. Try to help though. And dead. That should be a bit of a concern for Granuli here though, seeing knights. A bit of war. He needs to use the spaceport, he just needs to get a fortress. That's non negotiable. The knights are going to be heading his way now. Four of them. And Granilla's only got mech destroyers. Pretty much the worst unit for this. And here they come. So the knights can get in here and they can convert workers, which is just quick guaranteed kills. And they can do tons and tons of damage to the power cores. They've got like a lot of bonus damage to them for some reason. And they'll just chase down these mech destroyers. Not really anything you can do about it. See here, you just sell food, sell carbon, buy your fortress. Build it here. And there's the quick conversions. You can use those to bash down the turrets to get like bonus damage. But it's like maybe gonna run them away to build something. Steal his carbon. Turrets definitely help here. Although without plus damage, it's uh, it's not a lot. It seems to be taking like two damage per shot from the turret. Not great. Just get a lot of workers dying. And yeah, I'm gonna call GG there. But, uh, I think there's definitely a, a way out of that, and it would be you just gotta get that fortress right, you get that bounty hunter for that bonus damage. But well played for Granuli there. And to Weasel. Definitely a hard matchup for Granuli being the uh, definitely the underdog in there for sure. But uh, showed some good play there. Uh, interesting games. So if you like that, leave a like on the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more GBG content. And if you want to get involved with these uh, these games or just join into the GBG community, you'll find a link to the Discord down below. So you can follow that there and get involved yourself. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy May the 4th. Take care. Bye-bye.